Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome back. Woo, get ready for the drama, honey. Get ready for the tea, because every Jeffree Star launch, there always seems to be going on something. <laughs> so this collection is no exception. <laughs> All right, okay, today I am here to review the cremated eyeshadow palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. There has been a lot a lot of talk about this collection. What I've seen so far is that people feel like it is a little, I've seen the word tone deaf a lot. Jeffrey came out with a cremated eyeshadow palette during a pandemic. Now, even though I have to agree with the people that the timing, the timing. So many people are passing away and because of the coronavirus and we need to take a distance from people, having a burial and having sort of that ceremony is a very touchy subject at the moment. I have to agree with the people out there that are saying that the timing is a little uh. Now, with that comes, and I'm not defending anyone, but with that comes, after I taped my appearance on Ellen uh, in January, I actually visited Jeffrey, I think the the day after or the night after or somewhere near it. And Jeffrey actually showed me this palette and he told me that it was geared for April. He had been working on it for so long. And that tells you that creating makeup isn't done in two weeks. It isn't done in two months. Creating an eyeshadow palette, creating any type of makeup product takes months upon months of finding the right balance of the formula. It's like a whole sort of journey to get to a product. But then the virus happened. So I don't wanna get into it too, too far. The thing is though, and that's the last thing I'm gonna say about it because I wanna move on from this, but I feel like the thing is though, it wouldn't have mattered if he came out with this right now or in a couple of months. We're gonna have to deal with the virus for the next couple of years probably. So it wouldn't have mattered when this would have come out because the theme is cremated. So it would have hurt people either way. Would I have expected this to be called deceased instead of cremated? Absolutely. <laughs> but here we are. And as you know, I always like to focus on the quality of a product, um, even though the theme is very important too. But that is sort of my two cents. So I totally understand what the people are saying, but I totally see it from a brand perspective as well. And I'm gonna just be here to focus on the product and tell you exactly what I think of it. So the Jeffree Star Cremated Eyeshadow Palette is up for review. Okay, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but because I always wanna show you as many shadows of a palette when I'm doing a review, today again, I am doing two different eye looks uh, to hopefully dip into as many of these shades as possible. But first of all, when I see this palette, oh my God. I love the color story. I love the marble. I love some of these shades in here. Do I think that some of these shades look very, very alike, absolutely. I mean, when I look at this shade and this shade, they are pretty much the same, except for this one, Embalmed. This is gonna give me so many memories to my little brother passing away. A couple of these shades do really look like one another, so let's see how they apply to the eyes, because how they look in the pan may not always be how they look on the skin. Before we do anything, it's time to prime, and today I am going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. All right, so I think I kind of want to play on the dark and lightness of this palette. So I want to do one eye really dark and one eye a little bit lighter. The first shade that is going, oh my God, the options. The first shade I want to go in with in the crease is this, the Morgue, which looks like a little bit more of a brown toned medium gray. Picking up that color and bouncing it down onto that base, and we're just stamping it on. It looks a little darker on the eye than in the pan. And I'm just gonna build this into the crease, kind of blend it around, diffuse the edges and see what it's doing. There's not really a lot of fallout on the skin, maybe like a, a drop or two, but there is just have to mention it, there is fallout in the pan. All right, so it's blending nicely so far. I kind of have to figure out where I want to take this look. I think I want to make this darker and smokier and this lighter and like more, I'm gonna go there angel-like. <laughs> to continue on towards the inner portion of my crease, I'm gonna take Last Respects and we're just gonna continue on in that crease but more towards the inside. Ooh, this is more of like a, 
a neutral to green toned medium gray. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know there was so much variety when it comes to gray tones. Like, when I saw Jeffree's reveal video, I was like, but, but it's gray upon gray upon gray. But seeing these in the pan and then seeing them on the eye, they act differently. Like some act really bluish, some act really grayish, some act really greenish. Like I never knew there was so much dimension to gray. Brush it into the front of my brow. I always like to do this for that supermodel look. I really wanna haze out this section right here even more. I really wanna make it super, super smoky. So for that, fall in the pan, I wanna go in with a mixture of these two right here. Those are obit, 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 obituary and burial gown. Now, I do wanna remind everybody that black shadows, gray shadows, blue shadows, like more of the cooler tone shadows are harder to work with. So, especially with this palette that is just grays and blacks, and of course, white shades, you wanna take your time blending everything out. You wanna take it step by step. I definitely wouldn't expect this to look flawless from the get-go because this needs love and attention and work to look flawlessly and seamlessly blended in. So you just want to take it one step at a time, diffuse those edges and make it soft. Okay, some of these extremely shimmery shades like this one right here and this one right here are calling my name. Like they look so incredible, they look so sick. Um, and I definitely want to give those a try. I think I want this one, oh, Paul Bearer on the lid. I'm picking it up on a brush and I'm stamping it down onto the lid. I was so scared that this was gonna be one of those shades that you need to apply with your finger or that you need like a special primer underneath that it needed something super sticky to really cling onto the eye. But I'm just using a dry brush, I'm picking up little by little and I'm building up that shade and oh my God, this is a party. Oh my God, oh my God, this shade. Oh, I am so dead right now. This, oh. Yes! This color is everything. This is a disco eye. I need to go out to the Clairb. The clubs are closed, but I can make it my own Clairb at home. I thought it was gonna have so much fallout, but it is one hell of a shade. Okay, I wanna dip into a little bit of Grave Digger and a little bit of the black called Hearse and smoke out that outer edge just a tiny bit more. Taking that combo and patting it onto this outer corner here for that extra bit of darkness. Ooh. I just wanna make this eye super smoky and sexy. I am loving the smoky vibe we're going for. That shade is just stealing my heart and I love how the darkness is kind of surrounding it. Just like the drama is surrounding this palette. <laughs> now let's complete the fantasy by doing the lower lash line and inner corner. For the lower lash line, I wanna make it a little bit more blue toned gray. So I'm taking this one, because this looks more blue. It is called Solemnly Swear. And we're just bringing that in all the way. I want this to be smoky. Ooh, ooh, oh my God. <laughs> and then for more lower lash line smoke, I'm going in with, God, we're dipping into every single tone in here life insurance, because I feel like it would go nicely together. Just smoking it out. Yes, 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 yes. On the inner corner, I want something beaming. So I'm going in with this, Diamond's Ashes. Speaking of Diamond's Ashes, I am waiting for um, a Pomeranian palette by Jeffree that is all nudes and browns. I'm waiting, we're waiting. Right here. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. That is every. Okay, we can speak about not liking a theme of a palette all day long, but when we look at the material, this is a super, super high quality palette with I feel like some of the best eyeshadow formulas Jeffrey has ever done. These extreme shimmers are stealing the show. The mattes are doing it as well. I'm gonna go off camera real quick, pop a lash on, and then we're focusing on a lighter eye. The lash is on, inner corner extended with a little bit of liner, and I am living for this fantasy. It is smoky, it is sexy, it is mysterious. And if you can get past the names and the entire theme of this palette, the quality so far is on it. Now for the other eye, I wanna do something completely different and more light toned. So I'm going back in with my NARS 
concealer as a primer and let's get this party started. Do you want to say hi? <gasps> say hello! Say hello! Say hi everybody! Hello my sweet baby. Mm, okay, the crease color. Damn, this is hard. I want to go in with this one first. We're also going to place this on the outer corner, baby. Kind of want to create the same shape as on the other side, but just lighter. Problem is, I don't want to make it too dark because then it's just going to look like the other side. So control yourself, Nikki Tutorials. I am mixing this with this for the inner portion. So like right here, right here. Keeping it soft, going into the front of the brow. I mean, the shades have pigment for days, okay? But I feel like that's always the matter with Jeffrey's shadow, so I'm not really surprised. It's kind of the standard with his shadows. There is a, you know, mention-worthy amount of fallout in the pan. I know a lot of people don't care about that, but I have to tell you, I have to be open and honest. Okay, keep it like tutorials. Keep it, I kind of want to dive into this black one here, this, this leathery, glittery black one, but no, light and dark. So I'm taking Afterlife for the lid. I'm gonna stampy stamp this on. Oh. <gasps> Oh, hello. Oh, I love shades like this. Oh, they get me going. They tickle me on the inside. They make me so excited. Now, if we hit that with a little bit of diamond ashes on top. Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> on the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the matte pure white called Death Blow. Ooh. That also is so crazy intense. Woo! Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of this shade right here again and probably mix it with this one and this one to keep it very, very light. Okay, I know this kind of looks like total naked trash right now, but the lash and the liner is really gonna make this look, and then we're gonna have the, the light and darkness going on. So I'm gonna hop off camera real quick to complete the eye, and then let's take a dive into the glosses. Alrighty, the eyes are done, and I feel like this is a very fun way of seeing the darkness and the lighter shades of the cremated palette. We'll get to my final thoughts later on. Now let's focus on the four lip glosses that are in this collection. I have them right here. We have the darkest shade, which is a glittery black called Six Feet Under, even though nowadays it's six feet away from me. Thank you. We've got Funeral Parlor, which is like a gunmetal. Then we have a more green tone. See the gold in there? Gold green tone gray called Corner's Kiss. That is disturbing. <laughs> and finally, my favorite. This is <gasps> this is called Heaven's Gate, and this looks like white diamonds. It's, mm. I do want to see the more grayish tone on my bare lips to see how pigmented it is, how it changes my natural lip color. All right, let's get this off. That'll do. I just want to see what this looks like on its own. Oh, okay. That is a straight up gray glitter. Like it toned down the redness of my lips. I mean, it's not really something I would gravitate towards, but on top of a black lipstick, this could be stunning. On top of a darker lipstick, if you wanna to tone down the lipstick and make it a little bit darker and more muted, this could be great. Now I just really wanna go in with this. <gasps> so I have my new lip on, and now I just wanna seal the deal with this stunning beauty right here. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna love this one. Oh, yes. Oh. oh my God, I love that. It just makes a nude lip that much more nude and sparkly and three-dimensional. Mm. Ooh. I love it. Okay, here we go, my final thoughts. The Jeffree Star Cremated Eyeshadow Palette. I mentioned it in the beginning of this video. If you look past 
the theme and the name, mainly of the eyeshadows and just this entire collection. When you focus solely on the quality and formula of this palette, this is a banger. This is a cool toned neutral dream for a lot of you out there. And I must say that Jeffrey really outdid himself by doing these like crazy shimmery shades. They are absolutely insane. At the end of this, I do feel like some of these shades look very similar to one another. So I was like, give us more of these like crazy glittery pearly shades because they are captivating my heart. Now, of course, if you don't like gray tones, you're not gonna like this. There's no point to trying to like this because at the end of the day, this is a palette full of black shades, gray shades, and white shades. I think this section right here is really interesting for everyday wear. <sighs> There's just a lot to say about this collection, but I feel like if you focus solely on the quality, it is golden. It is great. It is gray golden. <laughs> But of course, at the end of the day, you decide where you spend your money on. And if you think this is worth your money, then get it. If you don't think it's worth your money, then don't. I think the glosses in this collection are very fun. I have to be honest that I think that I won't be gravitating towards the gray shades that often. If there's one gloss you need, it's this one right here. This is a nude dream. Like look at the glisten on my lips right now. Sound off down below what you think of this collection. It can be raw, it can be honest. Tell me exactly what you think. Today's Dutch word of the day, thank you so much for commenting on my last video, can only be, of course, one word, gray. Grijs. Grijs. <laughs> this palette right here is all about the grijs tones, and we love it. As always, if you wanna get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I love you, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.